Your readings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more Dust and Elysian Tale. Last time we took a bit of a break to finish off some side missions that we've been holding on to for quite a while. And we got lost in a maze, which was always fun. But we got out of it, so now we are just going to continue on with the main story because there's actually very little for us left to do outside of just hunting for random items that we've missed somewhere along the way, which honestly I don't think makes for a good YouTube. So let's go ahead and head to the Everdon Basin. Whoa, I must have walked right into the lava. That would have been embarrassing. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you. Apologies, Miss Rara. Please, enter. Usually, I don't like it when people talk about the, me being the chosen one. Because it usually ends up being something bad. And wowzer, wow, there's a lot of them. Welcome your presence, Zen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Okay, I was with Fidget on this one. What is the way of the flameless light? I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in dust. This could take a while. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong because we still have to build a fire every time dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintuk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we're supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. <laughs> wow, Fidget holds a grudge. Now, let's see. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Thanks, Fidget. I wasn't feeling pressure at all until now. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys! How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. 
The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Oh, it looks like we've found a couple extra side quests, maybe. Just check to see if it showed up here. No? Now let's talk to Ginger. This is going to be awkward, isn't it? Ginger? Gin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Ara was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Uh, a little hard to heart with Ginger, and honestly, I'm not sure if I picked what I wanted there or not. Uh, ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The elder mentioned you needed some help. Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. And zap and level up. Uh, no, I just hit one too many times. Max health or defense? Always the question, huh? Let's go ahead and... Actually, no, I want to do it. Uh, damn it. Okay, I guess I can't take it back once I put it in. Maybe. Hang on, there's a flag one screen. Oh. I guess the flag one screen ever is also, is going to be the scout. Because that would be east of the camp. We'll go ahead and check it out. Uh, did you 
hear something? I'm a little afraid that fidget hearts, I think that I didn't there, which scares me. Things are a little quiet here. Ooh. A chest. A magma mantle. See what this does. Ooh, that's a lot of regen, but it's expensive to make, and I imagine. No, oh, we could buy all the materials, but I don't have the actual gold to make that. Mmm, king crab legs. Oh no, just look. It's the missing sentry. What happened here? Oh great, invisible soldiers. As if I didn't have enough trouble before. Well, I guess I could always just shock them to death. That requires a different resonance gym than what I have. For some reason, I kept double jumping there. I guess I'll report this in. Actually, I want to go check my quests. Yeah. She, she would think these guys would go for unarmed combat, considering the only thing visible is their weaponry. Or, you know, have something less conspicuous than a giant freaking spear. But I guess, you know, sometimes weapon choices just really don't make sense, actually. I mean, who thought it was a good idea to make the sword talk? Elder, I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by Gaius' soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please, help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. I guess that wasn't a side quest, it was something that we had to do. Just gotta be careful here because I have a feeling falling into lava is probably on the list of bad things to happen. Just need to go nice and slow because hurrying is always the way to get myself killed. Now I want every little coin, by the way. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't buy the Resurrect Stones, but I have a feeling that this will come in handy. Ooh. Well, that's a pretty lava geyser. Wait on the floating rock for the lava geyser. Come on. Come on. Get a more stable ground to fight. No! Oh crap. Yeah, I'm just trying to be a little careful. Careful here. Careful. Oh, 
accent's kicking in for some reason. Yeah, I usually don't have a strong southern accent, but for some reason it kicks in every so often. I can't explain it. Maybe it's just not paying attention to what I'm saying. Hang on, what is up here? Actually, more what is down here. Oh, uh, no, that's the way back. I don't want to take that way yet. Just go nice and slow. I think this is a very pretty area, though. Well, this is the water pump. Huh, no wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? Gee, only if we had some sort of fire attack. That's one down, now we just have one other to go. I wonder if we're going to have to shock the other generator. I was a little worried that was a lava gasser. Now, how do I get over here? Oh. Platforming. Oh crap. Trying to pay attention to which one's going where. <laughs> oh. Platforming has never been a strong suit for me, even though my first game was a platformer. So figure that one out. I literally started gaming on platformers, but... Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, no, it's not that. Oh, that is definitely not worth it. I still want to make that. But that's probably going to cost me something like 36000 Come on. Oh, uh, going vertical, are we? Uh-oh. Once again, just take your time. There's really no need to rush this. There we go. No? Ah. Oh. I thought that little piece of background was some was something I could jump onto, but it wasn't. That wasn't me being impatient, that was just me being stupid. And that was me failing. Well, we've at least regained to full health, so there is that. Well, there's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Really? I guessed how to do this? Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside of Roar. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanji. To be fair, she's probably right. We probably stood would uh, still would be in the mountains outside of Aurora. Wandering around aimlessly. And I think I might just go ahead and call the episode here and see you guys back in the Moonblood Village because yeah I think that's about 
it. Yeah, I'm looking at the time. It's a, a good time to call it. So next time I will see you back in the Moonblood Village. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.